Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of web servers. If you're running a website or planning to host multiple sites on a single Ubuntu 24.04 server, you'll want to use Nginx Server Blocks. Server Blocks allow you to host multiple websites on one machine. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set them up step by step. Let's get started. First things first, I need a VPS machine. With Ubuntu 24.04, let me quickly create a droplet on DigitalOcean. So what are the use cases for server blocks? Example, use the cases one, you can host a personal blog and portfolio. You can have one server block for say, blog.example.com and another for your portfolio, say example.com. Each site can have its own document route and configuration. You can also run multiple web applications. For example, uh, if you're running multiple web apps, say a WordPress site, a node.js app, and a static landing page, you, you, you can use server blocks to route traffic to the correct app based on the domain. You can also set up a staging environment. You can create a server block for staging uh, .example.com to test changes before deploying them to the live site. The VPS is now created. Let us connect to it using SSH and begin the installation. Before we begin, always make sure your system is up to date. Next, if Nginx isn't installed, you can install it with the following command. If you have a firewall enabled like UFW, you need to open up ports 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS respectively. You can check the listening ports using this command. If NetStart is not installed, you can install it. Let me try using the SS command. To enable Nginx to start on boot run this command. To start the Nginx service, run this command. You can check the status of Nginx. Just type this command. As you can see, it says active, meaning it is up and running. To access the Engine web page, you can either input localhost if you installed on your local machine or the specific IP address of the Ubuntu server. If you see this page, then you are done with the installation of 
engine X. Next, we need to create a directory structure to store our website files. By default, engine X serves content from the slash var slash slash www directory. Let's create a folder for our first website. For this example, we'll call it zackstech.com. Replace zackstech.com with your actual domain. Now, let's assign proper ownership and set the correct permissions so that Engine X can access these files. Great. Now let's create a simple index.html file to test our setup. Also, add some basic HTML content. Save and exit the file. Now, we're ready to configure the server block. Engine X stores its server block configurations in the forward slash, etc. Engine X slash sites. Available directory. Let's create a new configuration file for our zackstech.com site. Save and exit the file. This configuration tells Engine X to listen on port 80 and serve the files from the directory we created earlier. Now, let's enable the server block by creating a symbolic link to the site's enabled directory. Before we restart Engine X, let's test the configuration to make sure there are no syntax errors. If, if everything is okay, you'll see syntax is okay and test is successful. Now, restart Engine X to apply the changes. So make sure your domain points to the IP address of your Ubuntu server. That is, create an A record in your DNS. If you do not have a domains, you can purchase cheap ones from Namecheap. The link is in the description. And that's it. You've successfully set up an Nginx server block on Ubuntu 24.04. You can repeat these steps to add more server blocks for additional websites. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Until next time, happy coding.